morning everyone. So welcome to another success stories. Tonight we have two success stories. So first one we're gonna interview Katrina from Saudi Arabia. So Katrina, come on in. You can un unmute your microphone. Hello, Hello. Kat. We wanna see Hello. you? Yeah. How are you, Kat? So far, uh, I'm relieved already. Uh, so, <laughs> before anything like else, congratulations. Uh, thank you very much, sir. <laughs> so, how do you feel right now? Um, Stress-free already because uh, I, I can't do anything or, and, and I can't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Kat, let's begin. Um, please tell us about little background of you. I'm K. I'm originally from Antipolo, uh, and uh, I've been uh, working here in uh, Riyadh, KSA as a coronary care unit nurse for seven years already. Mm, okay, so where did you took your exam? When was that? Uh, that was uh, August twenty-six, and here in Riyadh IDP, and I. Uh, prefer I chose uh, computer based because it's more comfortable for me and uh, in our work also we're documenting things on computer so it's a bit easy for me mm. so, at first I was uh, procrastinating I don't want to book but thanks to my uh, friend who encouraged me also to take the IELTS <laughs> so yes okay so um, could you please repeat again I didn't hear that um, where did you took your exam IDP or I, IDP 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 Riyadh. sir yes okay Could, um, to be exact what um, test center where it was uh, uh, Riyadh so here near Sulamania Sulaiman. just here Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> no problem. So yeah, guys, um, everyone who's watching right now, you can type in on, in our chat box all your comments or greetings for Kat. So Kat, um, please tell us about your preparation for the exam. How long have you did you prepare, and how did you prepare? Well, at first, I don't know where to begin. <laughs> So I uh, I started last week of June, and uh, I first uh, watch uh, Keith videos in YouTube because I find it uh, easy and I can easily retain also the information says uh, teaching. And uh, another thing uh, during mid of July, uh, I was able to see your uh, post. Uh, what's this? Your yes. comment in Kids Ayat Mastermind. So I try to join the group so that I can practice with the speaking. Then before I uh, I uh, saw Swoosh English was on promotion that time because it was COVID. So I grabbed the chance to um, I subscribe to Swoosh also so that I mm -hmm. can have a speaking mock test with them. But that was every Friday only. Unfortunately, I can uh, practice every Friday with them because of the conflict with the schedule mm, okay. then with the reading and listening uh, i just use iot ielts online test test mm, like everyone mm. else mm. okay mm -hmm. and how about your writing writing uh i i prepared with my writing a week before the exam it's that <laughs> it's my weakness also and uh, i just uh i try to read some model essays but uh, while i'm reading it i'm freak out, i'm freaking out already because how can i formulate such kind of um essay so what i just did i i just familiarize myself with the essay structure on how i will construct the different um my essay depending on the kind of question i will encounter mm, okay do you have any resources like for example do you use youtube um channel for, for your writing for writing i tried e2 language but e it's language a bit long yeah it's a bit long and i don't have time anymore to watch all the writing lessons so i just asked my friend to give me some copy of the essay structure <laughs> <laughs> then that's the one i follow because i tried also to 
uh, correct my essay to to Sush, I got only 5.5 that time mm. with the with the correction. Yeah. <laughs> we have a very high <laughs> standards in writing. Okay, so. Um, I know that before we are also speaking bodies during that time. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us about your preparation for speaking and how did you start? With the speaking, I started practicing mid of July in this group. Then uh, I was active uh, like for how many, maybe two weeks, three weeks. And then because of the busy schedule, um, from time to time, if I'm working, I just try to listen to the to the session because it's helpful. Also, I can learn different vocabs and on how to attack the question. And then another thing, I have a speaking body also two weeks prior my exam. Every uh, every night we're practicing for an hour, so mm. that um, we'll be familiarized with the with the questions and at least minimize our uh, hesitations. Okay. Um, Kat, um, could you please tell us as well, like, what is your weakness on your speaking before and then how did you manage that? Well, uh, before I have a lot of uh, feelers, like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, and then I keep on repeating same words for all the, pa for all the uh, part one, two, three. And another thing, I am a witness is part three because I don't have that much idea. <laughs> I cannot uh, elaborate or extend my uh, answers. So how did you improve I, that? Uh, I tried to uh, what's this, watch uh, more YouTube videos actually. And then with this uh, session also, I can, I can gain some ideas with the other, I know, with the other Members, uh, yeah. It? Members, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yes. Um. Do you also watch our live, like with Mandy or? Yes. Uh, yeah. I I wanted to. I uh, know. I wanted to participate, but there's a lot of members. I'm a timid person, and I'm not that confident speaking with a large group. Mm. So I just listen to her. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> So we are also curious, if you don't mind, could you please tell us your scores? <laughs> well, with uh, listening, I got 7.5. With the reading, which is my weakness and writing, I got only 6.5. <laughs> mm. Then with the speaking, uh, I got 7. Wow. Overall... <laughs> Uh, seven. Wow, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so let's move on. Uh, do, uh, let's talk about your actual exam or during the day. But before that, the night prior your exam, what did you do? Uh, I had my last practice with my speaking body. So uh, for an hour, we practice again. And then... Uh, I um, I tried to I opened the confirmation letter from the email from the ID from the IDP. So I because it's my first time to take IELTS uh, computer based. Good thing I opened their email then I tried the their sample questions because if not maybe I don't know how to answer the the question in the in the in the computer based test. So, but I wasn't able to finish because it's quite long, the reading section also, and I'm not fond of reading. So, I just familiarize myself on how I will answer. Mm, okay. So, during your exam day, so please tell us about your listening and reading experience. Uh, at the listening, so it's two, it's, Two hour and forty five minutes. So at listening, it's uh, quite simple compared with the IELTS online test. And then uh, it's uh, the first part is more on party reservation like that. Then the second part uh, to uh, there's a map which uh, my weakness also part mm -hmm. the map. And then part three is uh, about uh, student uh, student then with picture like that. And the part four is a monologue. Mm, okay. So on your reading, how about your reading? Reading? How, how do you find it? <laughs> I, 
I find it tough actually. Because with my practices also, I cannot um, answer all the 40 questions in IOT. So same with this, uh, with my actual exam, I wasn't able to finish uh, answering everything. So last on the last minute, there's five questions I don't have answer yet. So I just um, uh, guess on the yes or no because mm. there's a lot of yes or no question, and I hate that kind of um, that type kind of, of questions. Uh, <laughs> yes. So I answered it late. What I did, my strategy was I answered first the fill in the blank questions because you can see directly in the passage what's the what's the answer for that question, mm -hmm. and uh, it's tough actually, and I was uh, I find it tedious. Maybe on the second part of the uh, second passage, I was thinking that okay, this is the real exam. I need to I need to really answer the question because I was sleepy already. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, maybe you're from duty the day before. Okay, so no, I applied I know, for a week leave. leave. Mm, week so you have time yeah. to prepared. Good. That's um also yeah. one strategy to make it more prepared. So how about your writing? What question have you encountered on your task one uh, and task two? For the task one, there's uh housing housing prices for certain period of time i think i mean i think that was three years plus prediction on 2025 so that's a bar graph and then aside from that there's a uh, pie pie chart where in compare the proportion of uh house owners plus the house uh, the, the one who's renting ho their houses for two years then compare so what uh, my strategy for that? I just uh, uh, memorize some of the some of the words that I can use, like uh, for the pie ac uh, accounted like that, and then for the prediction are, are expected to are anticipated to like that. Mm. So then you prepared some on how you will decide. You yes. prepared some. Only the vocab I can use. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So then, part task two. Um, what topic? Two, uh, I'm lucky because it's about health. Mm. Uh, it's about uh, is it important to spend the uh, public money on uh, promoting uh, health rather than spending public money on uh, preventing or treating treating diseases? So that's mm. the two argument. Um. Then, to what extent do you agree or disagree? Okay. So let's move on to the most important part for the nurses mm. who's planning to go to the US is the speaking. So first, I want you to describe the your invigilator or your examiner where she's from or he's from. He's from. Okay. I think uh he's I think he's American. Okay. And then uh he's on his uh I maybe late 30s or early 40s and uh his he looked uh, he looks friendly because he smiles a lot during the whole uh, the whole during our whole conversation he just smile at me so i don't know if i smile back because i'm nervous that time i just keep on answering but uh he was uh, i think he's encouraging me to answer <laughs> mm, to speak more oh, okay yeah okay so could you please tell us about your task, um, part one question and speaking? Uh, for the part one, uh, he, he asked me about do you work or are you a student? Then after that, uh, what I like the most about my job? Then the next one about uh, art. Do you like art? And uh, I hated that kind of question. <laughs> and, then, and then I don't know what to answer. I paused a bit. And then I just told him that it, I find it tedious. I don't like uh, art. I'm not into it. And then the next question was, um, when was the last time you go to art gallery or museum? Oh, my goodness. And then what will I answer? So I just answered, uh, maybe when I was a child during the educational trip, only like that. Mm. And then after that, he also asked me about history. The next question after art, did you like history? And then, oh my God, inside my mind, I'm freaking out already because why did he ask me this kind of questions that I hate? And <laughs> I can't elaborate. 
So I just answered him, uh, sorry to say, but I'm not also interested with the history. <laughs> and then <laughs> after that, um, he asked me about, um, do you like uh, watching historical films? And then I just don't know what to answer. So I told him, no, I'm not watching historical films like that. <laughs> but uh, And then... I was already anxious at the time because I can't elaborate further my answer because I'm not inter interested with those kind of questions. Luckily, the next question was about uh, pens and pencils. So with mm, that, I'm okay. able to answer. Good. So <laughs> on your part two questions, what topic did you describe? Um, anyway, our speaking is uh, like Zoom, like this. Oh. So, and uh, the 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 cue card that flashed on the screen was about job that I don't like to do. So at first I don't know what to answer, but I remember it that time that according to him, if you will encounter such cue card for the first ten seconds, you should generate already idea what you, I will discuss. So the first thing that came to my mind was sales lady. So I just um. I just uh, explained why I don't like the job of, as a as a sales lead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so no offense, man. Okay. <laughs> uh, <Sorry>. Next, um, <laughs> on your part three, I think this is kind of tough one. For the part three, I had uh, five questions. Uh, first, uh, about what kinds of job do young people prefer nowadays then the next one uh uh interesting versus uh versus high pay, pay job uh what's the what's the more um preference of those young generation then the next was uh, what motivates uh employees to work harder and uh, do you agree that there that some people are naturally hard working then the last question was why people transfer to cities for jobs like that okay and good uh, good thing uh, it's a, a bit easy question yeah. for me yeah. but i wasn't uh, able to give example i just keep mm. on talking yeah. and then until he cuts me okay. but i wasn't able to give extend yeah. further yeah. or give okay. more example actually that's my next question during your examination did you use a big big words um idiomatic expression connectors and did you struggle uh for the connectors i i, I didn't use any further more moreover any like the basic ones only like and however like that and for the idioms, I have, I have, I have written idiomatic expression, but I wasn't able to use it in the actual test because I just tried. I don't know. It's just it slipped on my mind, and then I just became natural that time. Okay. And then for the vocabs, I think only few, not yeah. not that much. What are those? We want like, to hear uh, it. Like. Only I don't know if it's advanced woke up like monotony, okay. devious, uh, mm -hmm. what else? I don't know if it's uh, advanced woke <laughs> I, I think that's not common words as well, so I yeah. think we can consider. So, yeah. yeah, so now let's move on to the most important part as well. Um, any tips? What are your tips to all the viewers right now and all uh, sub tests? <laughs> if you have any. Sub uh huh. For my tips with the speaking, uh, more uh, I think just practice every day prior to your uh, exam because uh, you will, especially if you have a speaking body, they can uh, they can correct you rather than uh, practicing alone. It's much better with a speaking body. And uh, for the high vocabs, I just shouted down things, the new words I encounter, so that um, I can some at some point i can use it in the actual test then for the uh, maybe if they will take a uh, cbt just practice on the iot it's very helpful it's like uh, you're doing the actual test also mm, although it's kind of 
hard or difficult in IOT. Yes. Yeah. But I think it's a good <laughs> practice. Yep. So yes. So <clears throat> is there if you want to say uh, if you want to say thank you to someone or to your speaking bodies, <laughs> you can uh, tell them right now. You can enumerate their names. Well, first of all, sir, thank you very much <laughs> because you, you're the one who me. encouraged me also. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir, yeah. Yeah, yeah be, <laughs> because, because I was I'm not yeah. that confident yeah. before. <laughs> Guys, because of you. yeah, because the first time I heard um, Katrina, it's for me. It's very important that your voice it's clear and you pronounce it good. So that's always I told her that uh, actually you are good. You just need to be you know calm and as well as polish. How to organize your thoughts and yeah. your answer. So yeah. yeah. So who else? <laughs> I'm very grateful also. Thank you. Uh, okay. Well, when I was practicing before, I remember uh, Sir Charles also yeah, was Charles. there during my yeah. practice with you, and then Sir Aljon also that day, the times. Sir Aljon, who else? Mom Jean. Mm -hmm. Mom Jean. Uh, Mom Shine also. Shine. Uh, She's, uh, also. Uh, commenting on my uh, my speaking test and then mom desk also oh that's okay so actually and most of those person uh, mm -hmm. already passed so for others yes. yeah we're, we are excited for your success story okay so what uh, that's mm -hmm. all and then to my speaking body also uh, Aryan <laughs> <laughs> I for every every night for two weeks we're practicing wow. also. Thank you so okay. much, Aryan. You're a huge part of Katrina's <laughs> yeah. success in IELTS. And then so now let's move on to our Q and A to all the viewers. Guys, you can unmute your mic if you have question for Katrina. So don't be shy. You can unmute your mic now. So while waiting for the question, uh, okay, go. Where is where is Miss Shine? I was um because when I when I what you call this one? When I joined the group, I think it was Miss um Shine, who who was my first interviewer in group three, but I've never seen him for this past. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, so pe people are just like that. They will come and then later they will try to hide mm -hmm. and then I don't know what's the next one. So that's kind of common situation here. So maybe we will just be surprised of their result. <laughs> so I don't want to steal the, the techniques, but I think so. <laughs> so do you have any question, Dandy, to cut? Anyway, I'm having um, difficulties in um, expanding the, the answers, especially in um tasks too so what can you suggest especially in artificial intelligence um questions in part two then the yes ma'am okay actually part two is also my um my uh, weakness uh just uh I don't have a strategy on how to answer. Just it's it's just maybe because I got the question, uh, simple question that time. That's why I'm able to expound. But uh, I think with the some members, they have the strategy on how they will answer it. <laughs> okay, that's um, Gandhi. Did you get the answer? Okay, I will add on that. I think you can use the strategy of. You know what, when, where, and why those common questions, but make sure that you will put um, connectors so at least they will know, like, where are you talking right now? If it's when or where, that's a technique. And if you're running out of time, you can add in the future. Okay, so there's a comment, um, Katrina, if you can read from Kaylin K. Um. How do you explain their answer in part three? Uh, at first, I just uh, gave a general idea, then my opinion, and then uh, only until my opinion. I wasn't able to give examples actually until 
I just keep on talking. And then for all my questions in part three, I wasn't able to give example. Okay. Is there any more question, guys? Actually, we only have less than 10 minutes. So if you have questions, go. Um, go, Dandy. Did you, use did you use idiomatic expressions during your actual exam? Uh, maybe only only one, I guess. Only, yeah, only one. What is that? What was that? Uh, in just uh, only cup of tea during the first part. <laughs> That's my cup <laughs> when, of tea. When they asked me about this <laughs> art <Okay>. and history. <laughs> okay. That's not your cup of tea. Okay. Thank you, Dandy. Um, I think there's a question from Julianne. Julianne, you can unmute your mic because she raised her hand. Julianne. So guys, since we are not um, having any subscription, so for our next success story, we, I'm gonna send a new link. So don't go away and then please watch it. Okay, uh, Julian said mistakenly. So guys, do you have any question? So if you have, just unmute your mic. So I will just ask some questions. Um, uh, yeah, I know that you're in KSA. I'm, I'm about to ask, what did you wear? <laughs> During your speaking exam. Abaya. 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 <laughs> yeah. Because we're, we're, yeah. we need to wear that one. Plus, uh, oh. during the exam, they allowed us to remove the mask. Oh, okay. Because it's bias Zoom also. It's like Zoom. Yeah. So, okay. I think if they don't have question, um, Katrina, what are your uh, what is your advice for those you know like a timid person similar like you what do you think they can uh, do <laughs> maybe start first joining this uh joining this group because it will boost your confidence also while speaking in front of the big uh, crowd before doing the actual exam it will help also then what else just uh try to what is uh, try to speak more and more, and then the more you have speaking bodies, the better, actually. Mm, okay. Um, do you, did you follow some YouTube channel or podcast? Only Keith. Only I'm Keith. a big fan of Keith, yeah. <laughs> okay, so now there's a question from Jenny Vergara. Hello, Jenny. Hello. Thanks for asking. Hello, Mom. I'm from Leonardo. Do you think ADT is because you're not wearing mask. I can uh, I'm not familiar with uh, BC because it's my first time also to take IELTS. But I don't know with BC if uh, what kind of if they are doing a uh, Zoom session also with the speaking. Maybe it depends. Okay. So hello, MD Tajul Islam. Do you have question? Because you unmute your mic. Hello, MD. MD, where are you from, MD? Is this accidentally? Okay, so while waiting for Tajul Islam. Um, oh yeah, okay, there, she, there he is. Hello, Tajul, where are you from? Do you have any question? Okay. Okay, can I mute you first? Um, okay, um, Katrina. Um, do you have any special words of wisdom or philosophy in life that could inspire all the viewers right now? Well, what I was thinking that I, I, I mean, God has purpose and uh, plan for everything. So I, I think that I'm, if I wasn't able to pass, maybe God has planned. But just stay positive, uh, work hard, and make it happen. Then it will come. I'm mute. Sorry, I'm mute. Okay, so thank you so much. If you don't have any more questions, so to all the viewers that join us and congratulating Miss Kat. Thank you. So thank you so much. Don't go away. We have another episode af right after this. We want to hear something from Philip. Okay. So thank you all.
congratulations again, Katrina. We are so proud and happy for you. Okay, you Thank can you. congratulate now. You can unmute your mic, guys. Thanks. Bye. Congrats, po. Thank, Thank you. you po. Thank you all. Thank you, Sir Jen. Congratulations, Miss King. Okay. So, guys, thank you. Bye. Don't go away. Bye.